So I am here today to do my March wrap up and I had a really good reading month in March. I ended up reading 10 books, 3 graphic novels and 1 single issue. So 14 books, I'm very very happy with that. So I'm just going to quickly run through everything that I read, tell you what I gave it and then also tell you what I'm still currently reading. The first book that I actually finished wasn't technically in March, it was actually the very last day of February but I'd already filmed my wrap up and that is Dead House Gates by Stephen Erickson so I'm going to just include that here like I said I would and I ended up giving this one a 3.5 out of 5 stars. I enjoyed it a lot in places but there were also a lot of places that were very very slow and I just didn't connect as much with these characters as I did with some of the others from Gardens of the Moon and Memories of Ice, which I read later in March. So overall, it's a decent book still. It's definitely got some really interesting things that happen and set up for other stuff to happen, but it wasn't my favorite just because it was very, very focused on battles and I didn't really love that as a kind of element of focus. Next, I picked up The Red Knight, which is by Miles Cameron. This is the first book I've ever read by him. It's also his fantasy debut. He is actually a historical writer. I loved this book so, so much. It was so good, so much better than I thought it would be. I hadn't heard a lot about it before I went into it and I didn't really know if it was gonna be my sort of thing or not. It definitely was. I 100% love this book. I cannot wait to read the second one, which I do already own, and I ended up giving this one a 4.5 star. This and Dead House Gates were both read-along books that I hosted in my read-along group, so if you want to check that out, I will link it below for you guys to go and have a look at, because we're always doing different books each month. But this one I would highly, highly recommend, especially if you are newer to the fantasy genre and you want to try out a book with lots of different character perspectives, but you don't really want to go into Game of Thrones. This one, I think is a really easy one to get into and I really really enjoyed the writing style and the story and all the characters so highly recommended 4.5 stars. Next I ended up picking up the second one in the Ketty J series by Chris Wooding and this is Black Lung Captain. I am reading these books with Mercedes who I will link down below for you guys to check out because she's amazing. We are both loving these books, they are so much fun, they are very very enjoyable to read and they have great characters. The plot is always entertaining but it's definitely the characters and their stories that we always want to know more about and we enjoy reading and learning about them and this one was no exception so I gave this one a 5 out of 5 stars and I would definitely recommend if you like the idea of steampunk and pirates all kind of combined this is the one. It's also very very similar to the show Firefly if you've ever watched that and I'm really enjoying watching Firefly at the moment because I read this and then Brock recommended that I should watch Firefly so I'm also watching that because of this series and loving both of them immensely. Next I picked up book number two in the Night Angel trilogy which is by Brent Weeks and this is Shadow's Edge. I am really enjoying this series. I can definitely tell that Brent Weeks is one of my new favourite authors. I'm very much looking forward to reading more of his stuff and this one was a great continuation of the first one. I really really enjoyed it. I definitely would recommend this series and again I ended up giving this one a five out of five stars so it's certainly worth picking up and worth giving a go. And I hope you like it because I really like it and I'm definitely looking forward to finishing this series up hopefully next month and also starting his other series which should be loads of fun as well. Then I ended up picking up The Magician's Land which is the third one in the Magician series by Lev Grossman. I didn't like the first one too much but I did enjoy the second and the third I enjoyed just as much as the second so I ended up giving it a 4 out of 5 stars and I would definitely say that the series gets lots and lots better. The first book really was not for me, I didn't enjoy it at all. The second book was completely on a whole different wavelength, it was differently structured, there were different things going on, the characters were a lot more developed and everything was just so much better in my opinion and the third book continues on that theme so if you like the second book you'll probably like the third one and if you didn't like the first one it might be worth giving the second and third a go anyway because they are quite different in my opinion. It works well as a trilogy overall and I'm glad that I finished up the trilogy. Next I picked up Saga issue 26 and this one is only 30 pages so it's very very short and very easy to get through. I really enjoyed issue 25 which I read last month but this one I felt was back to where I really really wanted it to be. Issue 25 was just so short and not enough went on for me to be able to give it a five stars but this one I could easily give five stars to and I definitely want to continue on with the series 
I'm sure that I will probably be buying the volume of these issues when it comes out because the issues, although I can get them quicker and that's what I want to do, I don't really like them because I don't have any way of sort of storing them and keeping them nice because I don't collect issues usually so I'm probably going to end up buying the volume when it comes out but at the moment I'm collecting these single issues and I gave this one a 5 out of 5 stars. Next I picked up the next book that I needed to read for my read along group and that is book number 3 in the Malazan Book of the Fallen series by Stephen Erickson. This one is Memories of Ice. This one is a massive book. I'm going to need to buy a replacement one for this because it does not really match this tiny one. And yeah, it's quite a difference in size. But I really, really enjoyed this book and I thought it was miles better than the first and the second one. I gave this one a 4.5 stars and I really, really enjoyed it. I enjoyed the way the characters progressed. I enjoyed the way that it was told with a good balance of battle scenes to character development to awesome plot and twists and things like that. So really really enjoyed this book and I will definitely be looking forward to continuing on with this series and I plan to continue on reading one book a month so very much enjoying this so far. Then I ended up picking up Blameless which is the third book in the Parasol Protectorate series by Gail Carragher. I am reading this as Buddy Reads each month and I'm really really enjoying it and it's just a very very fun series. I'm really really loving it. The first two books I really enjoyed I think I gave them 4.5 this one I loved even more and I felt like it was even better so I ended up giving this one a 5 out of 5 and if you want a really fun, light-hearted, awesome series with some really good characters and just a lot of things that will make you smile then this series is really really good. It also has elements of steampunk which is something I'm really getting into recently so Again, this is a series I would highly recommend to you guys. Next, I picked up Faux Hammer, which is by Duncan Campbell. I was sent this to review by the author, and I didn't really know what I was getting into when I accepted it. I didn't really know if it was going to be my thing or not. It's kind of what I like to read in a way, but it's also got some flaws that I didn't love. So I ended up giving this a 3 out of 5 stars. I thought it had some really cool ideas, and there were some moments that were really interesting. But overall, the characters and the world just didn't interest me enough because there was a lack of development. It's only about 250, 300 pages. There's not that much writing, therefore, that I can judge it on. And so I had to just give this a 3 out of 5 stars. I have done a full review of this, so if you want to check it out or all of my reviews for any of the others, then just look on my channel and you can find full reviews of all of these books. So if there's anything that you want to know more about, definitely go to those videos and you'll be able to hear my full thoughts. The next book that I ended up reading was another one for my read along group. We were actually doing three this month and that one was The Thousand Names by Django Wexler and I really enjoyed this book and I wasn't expecting to enjoy this book and I didn't really know how to feel going into it so I'm very very happy that I did indeed pick this book up and I ended up giving it a 4.5 star rating which is really really good considering it's very very battle focused and I don't usually like battle scenes. That was my major problem with Dead House Gates was that the battle scenes just were not told in a way that I felt I could access easily and imagine easily. This book was the complete opposite. I could imagine everything very very clearly, very vividly and it was really well written and described so if you are not a big fan of battle scenes but you want to try out flintlock fantasy because it's obviously becoming a bit of a craze recently, then this is a great one to start with. I would highly recommend this if you want to read a flintlock fantasy. So 4.5 stars from me and I would love to know your thoughts on it as well. Next I picked up two graphic novels. I picked up Ghostopolis and Cardboard, both of which are by Doug Tenaple. These are kids graphic novels so they are completely PG, there's nothing mature content in them which is great but they are not my favourite in art style and the storyline of the first one, Ghostopolis, wasn't my favourite so I ended up giving Ghostopolis a 3 out of 5 stars but I did enjoy Cardboard a lot more and I ended up giving that one a 4 out of 5 stars so if you want to know where I would recommend starting with Doug Tenaple then I would recommend Cardboard but if you just want a light and fun read then both of these books are fantastic fun light reads and this one doesn't have as much development on it which is why I didn't like it as much but overall they are fun stories and I would definitely recommend them if you are a younger reader or you have kids and you want to read graphic novels with them. Then I picked up the first volume in the Chew series by John Lehman and I loved this so so much. I was hoping that I would enjoy it because everyone has been enjoying it recently that I know but I didn't realise how much I would love it and I really did love this. I flew through it and I really enjoyed it. I loved the artwork as well. I thought the artwork 
was fantastic. It was just very, very bright and colourful. And then there were also moments where it was very dark and dingy to sort of give a different feel. Overall, I really loved the concept and it's just a great, great read. So again, this one ended up getting a five out of five stars from me and I will definitely be continuing on with this series at some point in the future when I pick up the next few volumes. Next, I ended up picking up Tigana, which was the final book for my read along group this month. And I really enjoyed this, although it was quite a slow book. So if you don't mind slow books, maybe give this a go. It definitely has a kind of lull in the middle and it takes a little bit of getting through, but there are great moments within this and I really enjoyed the concept and the characters were interesting, if not compelling. Some of them were really good and some were just a bit boring. So it was a real mixed bag of different things. I was going to give this four out of five stars, but then I read the author's afterword, which is at the end of the book and he kind of talks about all of his inspiration and his influences that went into this book and where it all came from and when I read that which was about three pages that just made the whole book so much more vivid and clearer for me so that brought it up from a four stars to a 4.5 stars and I did end up really really enjoying this so I'm definitely happy that I've got a lot more Guy Gavel K books to experience. This is a standalone. If you like historical accuracy in your books or convincing historical worlds this is set in a kind of Italian renaissance period and it's very very convincingly done and I'm very much looking forward to reading more of his stuff in the future. And the final book that I ended up finishing in this month is A Darker Shade of Magic which is by V.E. Schwab who is also known as Victoria Schwab. I read the archives by her a while back and I enjoyed it but it wasn't amazing. The same can kind of be said of this book. It had really, really cool ideas. There were some very, very cool things within this, such as Kel's coat, that was amazing. And just generally the idea of three different Londons and one of them infected by magic and one of them completely free of magic and stuff like that. I really liked the concepts of this book. I think there was so much that could have been pushed and would have been really amazing if it had been. But unfortunately it fell a bit short on the development side of things and although I liked the characters I didn't feel a massive attachment to them and although the story was interesting it wasn't gripping. So there were some great things within this but it just didn't compel me enough to give it higher than a 3.5 star read. But I will be probably looking at the next one when it comes out because this is actually the first one in a series which I didn't realise. I will probably look at the blurb of that and see if I think I should carry on or not. Because at the moment it's a very satisfying ending, you definitely don't have to continue on with the next book. But there is the option to, so I'm probably going to read the blurb, see if it interests me, and if it does I will continue. If not, I probably won't, but we will see what happens there. So those are all of the books that I have been reading over the month and that I've finished up but there are a few other books that I have started and haven't finished yet so I'm going to show you guys those very quickly. The first one of those being Crossroads of Twilight which I know has been on my TBR and wrap ups for like the last three months but I am very very close to finishing this up now. I've got about 100 pages so I am planning to actually finish it this month, probably today but I just haven't finished it before filming this so Hopefully I'll finish this tonight and then I will be moving on with the Wheel of Time series because this one is picking up now and I'm enjoying it a lot more now that I've got back into it instead of reading all the other stuff. I'm definitely going to finish this up, if not today then tomorrow, for sure, 100% going to happen and then I will be continuing on with the next one in the next month. I'm also reading Cashel's Dart at the moment by Jacqueline Carey and I know loads of you guys were really interested in what I was thinking about this book and how I felt about it. It's a book that a lot of people seem to have heard of but perhaps not read. So I'm really enjoying this so far. I am about a tenth of the way through so I'm not that far but what I've read so far is definitely interesting and I really like the way it's told. I think it's very very well written. So overall really enjoying this so far but I have a fair way still to go. So hopefully I will finish this one up in the month of April, we shall see. Then I am currently reading this book at the same time and this is a collection of the four Alcatraz books in one big bind up so it's pretty big. I have actually read the first book in this but I'm going to review all four of them as a bind up book so even though I've read the first book I'm not counting it for March, I'm going to count it in April if I manage to finish them all up. I'm currently halfway through the second book and I'm really enjoying these stories so far. Of course they are Brandon Sanderson, I do nearly always enjoy everything he writes. So I'm loving these so far, I think they're very very funny and interesting. The concepts are very very cool, so yeah, I am reading this. I have finished the first book, I'm halfway through the second, 
but I've not finished the whole book so that's why it's not in my wrap up just yet. And then I am also reading The Strange Affair of Spring Hill Jack which is by Mark Hodder and I really love these books. Like the covers are stunning, so good and I bought the second and third one even though I haven't finished this one because the covers just drew me in. So I now have the first three so I'm hoping I really like this but I am enjoying it so far and it, is, it seems really really fun. Um, I'm not very far, I'm about 5% of the way through. It's definitely a fun read so far but it's kind of not got into the story yet so I'm hoping it's very close to doing that and then everything will take off and I'm pretty sure I'm going to really love it. And the final one that I ended up picking up just kind of on a whim was The Dragon's Path which is by Daniel Abraham and this is the first one in the Dagger and the Coin series. I'm very much intrigued by Daniel Abraham, I've not read anything of his work yet but next month I'm planning on reading Leviathan Wakes which is by him. I, I'm enjoying it so far but it's, the story's a little bit odd so we'll see how I feel at the end of the month but I am enjoying it so far, it's just hasn't really got into the story yet so I'm interested in where it's going to go because I'm only about a third of the way through that so definitely interested in where it's going to go but not really sure where it's going to go so that is it. Those are all of the books that I ended up finishing this month and the ones that I'm still reading. I would love to hear all of your thoughts on any of the books that I have mentioned and thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any recommendations for me definitely leave them below. I always take whatever you guys say and look it up and see if it's something I think I would enjoy and if it is more than likely I will pick it up at some point. So thank you all for watching and I will see you all very very soon in another video. Bye! Me and you gonna have a little chat about the